now let's go back to Zoe. Can you give us an update about the adoption of the project? You know, what kind of growth you're seeing there? So as I mentioned, the Zoe project is about, let's say it's five years old, but when Zoe version one was first released. So one of the dichotomies that open source has is it needs to be kind of like, you know, free and, you know, all open. And it has that kind of like, you know, festival sort of hippie feel to it. But you have to have the backing of an enterprise customer. Zoe long-term support was first released in, I think, March 2020. So every year, we try to track the adoption. So within the first year, from March to December 2020, which is during the start of the pandemic, Zoe adoption, we believe, was about 10% of all mainframe customers. There's a survey that's done by the Arcati yearbook to poll customers. Then it went to 20%. Then it went to 38%. I'm going to round it up to 40 just for, to see, see the double-digit growth. And then the last, that was 2021, 2022, 2023. And we just got the yearbook for looking back on 2023. And of the mainframe customers they polled, 85% of them are using Zoe. And if you follow the Crossing the Chasm, that's phenomenal for a, for a product <clears throat> where we've only been tracking 2020, 2021, 22, five years, yeah. So we only have four years worth of data, effectively looking back. Um, so that's double digit growth. So definitely, I've been around mainframe computing for a huge amount of my career. I have a 26 year career at IBM, not all in mainframe computing. But so I know most of the mainframe customers, certainly in my geography, which is Europe and the US where I'm traveling this week, there's not a single one of them that isn't using Zoe technology in one way, shape, or form. The success has, has exceeded my expectations and everybody else who started the project. What is the driver behind this adoption and growth? What's the driver behind adoption? Wow, that's a good question. It's a bit of a curveball. I wasn't expecting you to ask that one, so I'm going to have to do it. One of which I think is the education, and you touched on it with skills. So one of the most important things, so I grew up remembering when a lot of grassroots technology, like you know Windows 3.1 and things like that, became pervasive or when I um, so and, and that's really because it was used by educational establishments Microsoft did a very very good job with MSDN program and getting it into schools and colleges and then as those people grew up and got hired they then went into large organizations that perhaps weren't using Microsoft technology and some perhaps some of the big enterprise Vendors like IBM probably even didn't feel that threatened by Microsoft, but then they tipped it over because they said this is really easy to use and we can scale it up. You know, we're you know, and the same is true with Zoe because the Zoe adoption has been through the training courses. So a lot of training courses pivoted towards using Zoe rather than teaching mainframe on green screens. So all of a sudden we saw a generation of people being hired, and I, I went to I was at a bank uh, just a few months ago, and I went in there, and I, as I walked around the bank, can't tell you who they are for privacy reasons. Um, Half of the monitors I could see in the bank uh, had Zoe running on it. And then I went into a meeting and I, I asked the same question as you. I was like, how did you end up adopting it? And they said, well, we hired some students from a university. They came in, they showed us some cool stuff they were doing. They taught us how to do hackathons. They taught us how to you know, innovate, you know, get pizza in, get everybody jamming in the room, solving some cool projects, collaborative. They brought in all of those principles and learning practices. And then that pivoted the bank to start adopting Zoe technology. So I think it's really grassroots up. Also, IBM and Broadcom and Rocket Software offer enterprise support for Zoe. So it backs it with 24-7. You know, a lot of great companies, Kindrel, uh, are very much pushing Zoe out to their customers. So you see grassroots and you see enterprise and customers like that.